In electrophilic aromatic substitution, or EAS reactions, a proton on an aromatic ring is replaced by a potent electrophile. In all EAS reactions, the aromatic ring acts as a nucleophile. In EAS halogenation, a chlorine or bromine is installed on the ring. The reaction utilizes molecular chlorine or bromine, so Cl2 or Br2, as well as a Lewis acid catalyst such as iron trichloride, aluminum trichloride, or iron tribromide. The mechanism begins with a Lewis acid base reaction between X2 and the Lewis acid catalyst. A lone pair of electrons on one of the halogens attacks the iron, forming the Lewis acid base complex we see here. The halogen is now a much better electrophile because the Lewis acid base complex draws some electron density away from the halogens. The subsequent attack of the benzene ring on the terminal halogen displaces the iron tetrahalide complex. The carbocation intermediate that was formed by this step of the mechanism is stabilized by two additional resonance structures. The red pi bonding electrons can be moved over one bond, thereby delocalizing the plus charge to a new location on the ring. Finally, the last remaining pi bond, the green one, can also be moved over one bond to delocalize the plus charge to yet another position on the ring. This resonance hybrid of all of these resonance structures is an intermediate known as the sigma complex. Finally, in the last step of the mechanism, a proton is lost to restore aromaticity to the ring. It is a halide from the iron tetrahalide that serves as the base to remove this proton. In the course of this step, the Lewis acid catalyst is regenerated and HX is formed as a byproduct of the reaction. Let's now turn our attention to some specific examples with regiochemical considerations. For instance, toluene can be chlorinated to yield a mixture of the ortho and para substituted products. As expected, the transformation begins with Lewis acid base reaction between chlorine and iron trichloride which forms this Lewis acid base complex. The next step of the reaction is the attack of toluene on the electrophilic terminal chlorine of that Lewis acid base complex. This attack could occur so as to place the halogen on the ortho, meta, or para positions relative to the methyl group. The ortho and para pathways are electronically equivalent, so let's consider just one of them. The attack that yields an ortho sigma complex is shown here. There are two additional resonance forms that stabilize this carbocation intermediate known as the sigma complex. Notice that one of the three resonance forms contains a tertiary carbocation. The other two are only secondary. The tertiary carbocation enjoys further stabilization due to the presence of the extra electron donating alkyl group, the methyl group. Finally, the mechanism concludes with the loss of a proton from specifically the sp3 hybridized ring carbon. It is always the sp3 hybridized carbon of the sigma complex that will lose a proton in the last step of the mechanism. The proton is lost to a chloride from iron tetrachloride. 
and the result is, in this instance, orthochlorotoluene and HCl is formed as a byproduct. Notice that the Lewis acid catalyst was regenerated in this last step of the mechanism. The production of the para product proceeds through an analogous mechanism. Now, let's consider the meta pathway to illustrate why the meta product is not formed in significant quantities. The initial attack of the ring on the Lewis acid base complex could produce a sigma complex with the chlorine meta to toluene's methyl group. However, in this case, all of the resonance forms of the sigma complex contain only secondary carbocations. Remember that in the ortho-para pathway, one of the resonance contributors to the hybrid had a more stable tertiary carbocation. Consequently, the meta pathway has a higher energy sigma complex intermediate and is therefore a less favorable pathway. This explains why the meta product is not a significant product. Now let's consider a new example in which acetophenone is brominated. This yields metabromo acetophenone. Notice that in this example, the ring bears an electron withdrawing ketone substituent, and the meta product is now predominant. It's useful to compare this to the previous example in which the ring had an electron donating methyl group, which led to the formation of ortho and para products instead. Let's look at the mechanism now to see why the meta product predominates in this case. The mechanism begins with the expected Lewis acid base complex formation. This occurs when a lone pair of electrons on bromine attacks the electrophilic iron. The aromatic ring then attacks the terminal electrophilic bromine atom to form a carbocation intermediate known as the sigma complex. Based on the previous examples that we've considered, we expect the sigma complex to have at least two additional resonance forms, and indeed it does. Notice that in this pathway, the meta pathway, the positive charge never appears adjacent to the ketone in any of the resonance contributors to the hybrid. This will be important when we later make a comparison to the ortho-para pathway. The formation of the meta product concludes with the loss of a proton from the only sp3 hybridized ring carbon of the sigma complex, yielding the metabromo acetophenone product. Now, let's try to understand why the ortho and para products are not formed in appreciable amounts in this reaction. Since the ortho and para pathways are electronically equivalent, let's just consider one of them. In this case, the ring is attacking the terminal bromine of the Lewis acid base complex to form an ortho substituted sigma complex. This sigma complex also possesses two additional resonance forms as expected. But notice that one of them places the carbocation adjacent to the ketone substituent. When we examine the ketone substituent in more detail, we would also see that the carbonyl carbon has a partial positive charge. And as a result, there is a repulsion between these two centers which have similar polarity. This consequently raises the energy of the resonance hybrid, thereby disfavoring the ortho and the electronically equivalent para pathway.
And that's why the ortho and para products are not formed in appreciable amounts in this reaction. In summary, EAS halogenation replaces a proton on an aromatic ring with a halogen, namely chlorine or bromine. When the reactant has a substituent on the ring, the relative stabilities of the carbocation intermediates, or the sigma complexes, determine whether ortho and para, or meta products, will be favored. The preceding was an excerpt from the book Introductory Organic Reaction Mechanisms, A Color-Coded Approach to Arrow Pushing. If you found this video to be helpful, you may be interested in the complete book, which is available in ebook format from Scribd, in paperback from Amazon, or in paperback at a discounted price from Lulu.